100% Chelsea. Right. Come on, mate. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm it's not, not a crisis, is it, today? Yeah. Like, it's just one loss. Yeah. It's to do with the build-up effect. So, obviously, going into Wednesday's game against City, it's really important now that we play really well. We come out much faster than we did today. I felt there might have been a little bit of complacency. Sometimes this season, I've really felt with Gary Cahill, he's struggling. I feel like, you know, today, if you look at both their goals, a high ball came down the right and then it fed left. And how's that not, how's, you know, Gary Cahill's, that's his area of the pitch. Should be covering that area. And they've scored two quick goals. And, you know, you, you, it's annoying because we've been so good defensively this season to, to you know, lose it quite like that. Obviously, it was a bouncing ball. They got a little bit lucky. And we've, ride our, we've ridden our luck quite well this season in terms of defence. But just really disappointing um, to, see, to see that happen so quickly. Do, do, do you feel that... I'm not going to question Antonio Conte's tactics, but was it a case of Palace was set up well, or do you think we made some mistakes in how we set up to go against them in the second half? I don't think he did anything different, and I don't think he should have done anything different. I thought we were set up in the right way, in the way that's worked for us. And again, a lot of this is down to luck. Like, we very quickly, straight off their second goal, we had that wonderful chance. But what was it, 20 minutes in? Yeah, it would have been two all, and then it would have been a completely different complexion. Obviously, with football, they grew into the game. The number 12, who was their number 12? He was outrageously good at the back. Uh, oh, the black guy. Sacco. Yeah, he was, yeah, so, sorry, Sacco, yeah. yeah. He had an unbelievable game. I watched it from the Matthew Arling. I just, yeah. cross after cross. Fell over, was, mate, constantly. Yeah, obviously he was time-wasting, but you can see he's just playing, you know, playing game tactics quite well. Like, you can't deny that. Um, I, I hate it when people are right. It annoys me so much. Yeah, I fucking, I was going crazy. I know, like, I, can, I know why they do it, but I was going fucking mental at the time. And Craig Pawson, fucking allowing that. I mean, it's fair to us. He gave us, what, eight minutes? Maybe should have done more. But yeah, yeah, maybe 10 would have been nice. But like, there's no way of crisis. I mean, what, we're going to still be seven points clear after Tottenham won. So it's just now pressure's on Tuesday, suddenly. Suddenly, and then if we lost that, then, you know, then we've suddenly got a run of games where we've lost two in a row. The players are under a lot more pressure. I feel Hazard, he dipped into the game. Like, he dipped. He started so well, and I felt he didn't have as much influence towards the end in a way that it does disappoint me when I see Hazard do that because he's so good, but... He seems to be. He does seem to be a lot of confidence players. You read this stuff about maybe he's a little bit low in confidence in general in his own ability, where he's actually an incredible player and he feeds off confidence. And I just felt when the game wasn't going our way, he just dipped in a way that we can't really afford. Say next season of our Champions League campaign, we, we can't we can't have that going on. So yeah, so yeah, just fingers crossed that we, we you know Conte gets them ready this week for Tuesday, Wednesday, and um, we come out we come out quick get a goal and then stay ahead instead of dipping like we did today.